we, we captured the needs of the child as fully as possible so that we can make sure any receiving school is, is geared up, is absolutely equipped to meet every need of that child. We've heard parents talk about uh, children um, who, who require suction, children who require <coughs> anatomy, children who have, might need, as, as Zoe said, a blue light to get to hospital quickly. It's absolutely essential we take our time to get it right so that we can, parents can feel that there is going to be the right plan to support their child in the use of this assessment. So we're not taking the assessment, the statements that we've currently got, but we're really refreshing them and making sure that it's a really up to date, vibrant plan that captures each child individually. Um, uh, Phil, your Physical medical care needs 
alongside the Asian Educational League, one respondent argued the school-specific topic significantly higher than the funding proposed because without it, the school would not be financially viable next year. Is that a reference to the other It is, yes. Can I move on to money again? Well, that was to well, it is happily there. Uh, Medicals have been made to a fixed sum, and that, that's the sum uh, found. But according to the budget documents that went to Cabinet both in, uh, in 2013, the high needs block in 2013 was £31,773,000, and in 2014, the high needs block had become £32,217,000. And there's an additional 1,101,000 pounds for something called post schools. So the high needs block, my reading of this, has increased in the global amount over the years, over the last two years, gone up by whatever 31.7 from 32.2 and 33.3 might be. Yes, the, the, the main change uh, between, between those two years is. There is, there is some, there is a small amount of growth within the within the high needs budget in in uh, 14, 15, uh, 13, 14. But it isn't it isn't the 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 million pounds there that largely reflects a transfer of cost between the local balancing and educated community. Well, you can understand that better. Again, looking at um, budget papers. If I look at 2013 as against 2014, um, just exploring something that Councillor Fraser was interested in, the sum given for independent, non-maintained special schools in 2013-14 was 2.993 million, and in 14-15 it was 3.299 million. So I'm uh, fairly like would like over this increase of several hundred thousand pounds or so. Finally, where have you been in the future? Where have offices been funding the Lindale from well, a question about education not just for, for, for the future? But where where is this um, cardboard box under the bed or little tin that uh, you've been able to fund the Lindale from over this time? It's the contingency. And the contingency the council has is about eight hundred or nine hundred thousand pounds a year. So education budget. So is there room in the contingency if the council or the cabinet have recently taken a totally different view? Was there is there room in the contingency to have kept the Lindell supply with funds to enable it to continue? A contingency is, 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 is there for what it's said. I think it, it's there for 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 unforeseen costs and uh, emergencies. Um, clearly that can be used for, for, for all sorts of purposes. The report that we took the schools forum uh, the cabinet identified some of those purposes that, that we used before. So for example, if there's if there's an increase in, in places, an increase in an increase in top up, uh, an increase within the within the entire residential sector. The 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 whole host of of calls Since officers have been very able to fund the school, yeah, the cabinet. If the consultation that produced the cabinet's decision had been different, the council, a pot of money, this SEM fund, whatever it might be, would have had to carry on funding the Lindale school. 
if the decision, the consultation of the might differently and the cabinet have taken a different view from its present view? Really, if, 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 if there is a decision that, that, that is taken, the, the most possible
is, is something that can't be made public because they're confidential to the child and their parents. But that will make sure that the individual child <laughs> needs are, are fully met in, in a new school setting. But broadly, in, in analyzing each of the options, because you know the officer did make a recommendation to cabinet, we analyze whether each of the options and how each of the options in our view uh, could meet the SEM improvement test. And I think we had the Stanley and Ellery Park option, which we thought could meet the SEM improvement test. And there were a couple of other options that we thought may do, but there were issues about finance and capital. And one of the options we thought may do was an option that appeared quite late and we had extensive discussions about the government and the parent governors about Foxfield and whether Foxfield could take primary age children. And it was later on in that consultation that the chair of government and the head teacher said very clearly they felt it, it wasn't an option they, they could allow and they could go down in respect to the new Foxfield school. So in short, we felt we had sufficient information to inform the application of the SEM improvement test, but the detail is what we're still working on in each primary plan for each child. Mm -hmm.
and that that would be a cost effective.